it's mid-August in the garden and the produce is coming in faster than I can eat it. It's a good thing I know how to do some canning. Uh, while the season started out extremely wet and quite warm in the last month, it's been really dry and cooler than normal. That's great if you're a golfer, but not so great if you're a tomato plant. Hi there, I'm Dave Offit, the gastronomic gardener. Welcome to my garden. Let's take a look around. The tomato plants are looking tired by this time of year, but you know what? I can't argue with the production. The Sun Gold Cherry Tomatoes have been really sweet, very prolific, and absolutely delicious. Great for snacking and on salads. If you haven't tried this particular variety, I suggest you do. And no, I'm not a compensated spokesperson. It hasn't all been a success. My beet crop initially failed, and in my second planting, I'm really not getting the production that I would like. I'm not exactly sure why, as the plants look healthy, but I'm just, they're not just bulbing up the way I would think. Let's take a look at something else that isn't going quite right. There's some powdery mildew on the zucchini plants, and while it's not a big deal to me because it seems to be primarily a cosmetic problem and it doesn't impact the fruit production, if I were really worried about it, I would probably try to use some of the uh, internet uh, organic methods to control it or at least uh, calm it down a little bit. Uh, perhaps the baking soda, milk, and uh, dish soap solution that some people spray on their plants. But for me, I don't worry about it that much. It mostly just makes it not look so nice. Have you grown celery? This is the first year that I've grown it, and boy, is it lush and just seems really healthy. What I've tasted of it so far is that it is much more intense than the store-bought kind. Let me harvest the first one of the year. It's got a really strong root system. Whoop, just about fell over. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Last time the cucumbers were just starting to come in. Do you remember? Well, to date, we've harvested almost 60 pounds. It seems like every time I turn around, there's more cucumbers to be harvested, which is great news for the people at work because what I can't eat or can or pickle, I'm bringing in to those good folks. Here's a giant one I just found. Ain't that a beauty. But what I really want to show you is this giant wall of beans behind me. It's mostly Kentucky Wonder and Romanos, and pretty soon I'm going to have way more than I can handle. Let's just take a quick look here. They grow in these beautiful big bunches of pods. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I better get picking. The Roma tomatoes are definitely not looking great in terms of plants, but in terms of fruit, they look fantastic. I really look forward to canning some of these and making spaghetti sauce and salsa. There's a lot of justifiable concern about the lack of honeybees. However, just a quick look at this cilantro plant, or coriander, depending on where you're from, Take a look at all the pollinators at work here. I've got honeybees, I've got little bumblebees, and some kind of flies and such. So I understand the dire consequences of not having honeybees, but I'll tell you what, from my personal experience limited right here, there's no shortage of pollinators. There are other things going on in the garden. Uh, I've got leeks growing, potatoes, some red cabbage. We haven't looked at the Brussels sprouts because frankly, they're not sprouting so much and they're not that interesting to look at. So that's all for now. I'll come back to you in about another month or so and we'll give you an update then. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. You can email me at gastrogardener at gmail.com. Check out the website, gastronomicgardener.com and you can find me on Facebook, The Gastronomic Gardener. If you haven't done so already, please sign up for the monthly newsletter. The sign up is located both on the website and on Facebook, 
It'll have a monthly recipe as well as tips and a whole bunch of other interesting stuff. So please do so. Until next time, I'm David Offit, the Gastronomic Gardener. Keep digging and eat well. Because I'm a jet. Sorry. Keep digging and eat well. That's my Bill Clinton pointer. Thank you very much. I did not get your mind right, son. <laughs>